So as we work kind of from the extremities upwards, you got to clear the roots. You can just see her hand is dangling like this. This is the stem of the plant or the tree or the weed. Here's all the roots under the earth. So tips of the fingers, the fingers, the hands, these are all the roots of tension. So we got to clear the roots before we can go higher up. A lot of massage uh, therapists, massage uh, practitioners, they just focus on the bigger muscle groups. You know, wherever it hurts, they just kind of keep rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. That's kind of a symptomatic approach to massage. It's, you can give some benefit. You can take away some of the superficial tension away by doing that. But a lot of the times it's just going to aggravate the area. So if, let's say, for example, somebody has some problem in the scapula. Um, yeah, you can keep working, you can work, you can palpate, you can um, use effleurage, you can do all these different techniques, put your elbow in there. But unless you've cleared the pathway, you have to remember that that tension is on a band. It's on a, it's on a trail of tension. It's on that pathway of tension. So if you don't clear the trail, you know, once that tension releases, where's it going to go? I mean, tension is just trapped energy, right? It takes work. Your body has to work to hold tension in your body. That's why you always feel so tired and worn down when you're tight and stressed out. Your body's consuming energy. It's actually burning fuel to stay in that degree of tightness, right? Residual tension consumes a lot of energy. That's why you feel so worn out. So if it's consuming energy, it's got a fuel supply. It's got an oxygen supply. So if you keep working it, working it, working it, working it, you know, it's energy. Tension is energy and energy must move. Energy cannot be destroyed, can't be created. It just changes form. I'm sure you guys learned this in your science classes in high school science. So you have to clear the pathway. Energy needs to move and flow. So once you've taken away that tension, that energy needs an outlet. So you got to clear the pathways. You can't have t tension bumping into another layer of tension, bumping into another layer of tension. It needs to be free and ground, almost like a lightning rod. Chi in the body has similar, similar correlates to electricity from your, from the wall, from lightning. It's very sim same, same, but different, very similar. So anyways, with that said, we're going to work on the shoulder. Now we're going to do some moves called the chicken wing. And we've done a really great job opening up the hands and the fingers and the elbow. So now there's a place, there's an outlet for that, that tightness to go away. Before we do that, what we want to do, we want to get the scapula separated, the shoulder blade away from the body because we want to dig in and underneath the shoulder blade. We want to get our fingers in there. We want to pull it away from the body. Remember, I always talk about separation. Compression is the problem, expansion is the solution. So people are tight in the shoulders for maybe driving a vehicle or, you know, thumb gymnastics on their smartphones. We need to open them up, expand them. All right, so there's a special way to do that. First, we need to elevate. We need to elevate her shoulder. And in order to do that, we're going to roll up a towel. Now, it's very important you roll the towel tightly. It has to be tightly wound so when the shoulder is on the towel, it doesn't flatten. We don't want to flatten. We want to keep the shape of the towel. Keep the shape of the towel supporting the shoulder. So roll it tightly. You might have a booster. It just depends on the client how thick the towel should be. So I think this is probably right for Amy. So the first thing we're going to do, hold at the wrist, hold underneath the elbow. Lead with the hand, put it down close to the table, close to her body, and behind her back. Okay? If we just like lift up like this and torque it, not comfortable. Right. Always be caring. Now, I don't know if this is maybe a little too thick, but we'll see. Take the rolled up towel, lift up the shoulder, and then put it underneath. Is that comfortable for you, Amy? That feel okay? All right. It might be, I think it'll be okay. 
But you can see now, look at this great separation that we have in the scapula. Look how easily I can get up and underneath there. I'm going to go back to having the towel out and you'll see where we started from. This is what we started from when her hand was like this. So if she has tension in this area, how am I going to get to that tension unless her scapula is out of the way? So let's do that again. Okay. Bring the arm like so. Lift up the shoulder. Now you want the ball of the shoulder joint right here to be right on the towel. Wonderful. So one of the first things I do when I get to this stage, just sit with a chair at her head. And what's amazing is our bodies were meant to touch other bodies. We're actually designed perfectly by evolution or design. That's a philosophical question for another day. I won't get into here, but I just want you to see, look at my hand. Look at my hand connect with her scapula. It's just like tab A, slot B. It just seems to fit perfectly. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? All right? Now, my other hand, I can cup my fingers underneath. I can get into that scapula. Look how much I can separate the shoulder blade from the body. Can get right up underneath. You see my fingers? Get right up underneath. That's what we're trying to do. All right, stretch these muscles. Increase the distance between these body parts. All right. Also very important to have short nails here as well. Okay. One thing we can do is we can feel a lot of tension in these points right here. So I'm just going to slide my chair this way and I'm going to show you. It's a little bit harder to get to that point when the arm's like this, but when it's raised up like this, very easy to get to that point. So we're going to look at our elbow. Might even need to kneel down for this. Okay, and we're going to just find the tip of our elbow is going to go right on that point and then push down. I'm not pushing diagonally into her body. I'm pushing down towards her feet. Okay. And actually, I do need to stand more here. This table is a little bit bigger than what I'm accustomed to. All right, right here. Full deep breath. a little bit of oil on here, a little bit of a knuckle roll. Another thing we can do. Hi, this is Terry from Rainer Massage. And we're going to so, show you some moves that are exclusive pretty much to the Rainer Massage style. And this one we call the frog leg, specifically the frog leg under table. We can do this from a face up position, but right now we're just going to show it from the face down position. And this is very effective at getting rid of deep seated tension in the hips. And the hips can also be an emotional lock for some people as well too. So when we're getting past the physical barrier of tension and we're dealing with any of emotions trapped in the body, we'll do some deep work into the hips. 
Well, Charlotte's just positioning the client's leg forward to start with a little bit of a stretch. That's gonna help to soften things up. From there, she'll start exploring into the hip and feeling where the knots are, where the tight bands are. Once we kind of isolate where that highest ridge of the tension is, we'll switch to an elbow, focus on the client's breathing, and work to get deeper in. With Rainer Massage, we teach proper body mechanics, so we use gravity to our advantage wherever possible, and we can get the most effect with the least amount of effort. This will help to preserve your own body and keep you fit and healthy and not drained out when you're doing four or five massages in a day. Real special element of Rainer Massage is putting pressure only on the exhalation and when the client is ready for a breath and wants a little bit of relief, we come off the pressure. So it's kind of like unspoken communication that helps you to get through deeper layers of tension with your client. And just above the femur, close to the sacrum, there's a semicircle area. The big muscles of gluteus maximus, the piriformis, Magellan major and minor. So all those can carry tension and by sinking our elbow on the out breath, it really helps to relieve a lot of that deep seated pressure and will relieve those knots. As the tension starts to leave the body, the leg will be a little bit more mobile, then it can be moved a little bit deeper and forward in the forward in position. So this will really help with people's flexibility, help with the range of motion. So it's really a multi-purpose and a very effective technique that we use quite a lot in Rainer Massage. And when we're coming out of this position, we can use the towel as kind of like a sling, and we'll just hold one hand on each side, and then we can position the leg with the most comfort for the client and the least amount of effort on our part. And then we'll finish off with a little tug on the ankle and the heel, just to stretch it out. And a final rock, just to relax the client even further and just shake off any of that stagnant chi energy that's leaving the body. Thank you. <laughs>